Hello good people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I want to do the last review for the night. I have covered already two. I'm doing three reviews tonight and I think all three are some good fragrances, okay, very popular. But this one right here, I wanted to review for a very long time and I would like to say big thanks to my dear brother Avik Bhai who provided me with a sample of PDM Parfum Le Marley Galloway, okay, the white bottle. And that's gonna look pretty much like the other Parfum Le Marley, just the white body with this silver metal cap. Beautiful presentation on this, but this is like uh, the higher, uh, like in the series, this is like a more premium, so it comes with a beautiful box. The Galloway would come with a paper box or something. So their atomizers are beautiful, caps are very heavy, and the fragrance I think is costing in Bangladesh about $150 or so. So uh, I want to review this because this is one of the summer fragrances that rare from PDM. PDM do not make that many, like they have only a few in recent times, sadly, and uh, I think was the other one, the green one, they had the name changed, and then the blue ones, you know, I reviewed some. So I want to review this because the white bottle really attracted to me, attracted to me, attracted me, okay? And this perfume, it's something I smell once and really, really want to own it. Couldn't find it anywhere, but let's see if this is a win or it's a pass, okay? So I have it on the paper, and this fragrance, I can tell you one thing, it's unique, okay? Parfum de Marly, it's unique. Um, there's a fragrance from Lalique, Lalique White for Men. I think they try to, uh, people suggest that one is similar to this, but I used to own Lalique White, or rather reviewed from someone. That one had a tamarind note, right? Something soury. This one is missing that. This is more on, uh, kind of like a peppery. Let me spray this once more. I have it dry down, so let me just spray once more for opening. Absolutely nice opening. It has some citrus, some freshness, but it's not all the way citrus, acidic, or very super sweet. When you smell it, it's kind of like not everybody's cup of tea. It has this kind of, um, I would say some people find it off-putting, okay? It has this kind of a peppery, uh, is it, a, mm, I, don't, I cannot tell you it's a black pepper. It's kind of like what pepper, uh, not peppercorn, not pink pepper. Um, some, I'm really tired, I can remember the term, but there is something spicy to this, okay? And then after that, it gets kind of musky, kind of like a fresh, uh, spicy, kind of citrusy, musky kind of fragrance. Very simple composition, lasts a very long time, longevity is damn good on this, even though this is not as long lasting as, let's say, uh, Leighton, or Leighton Exclusive, or let's say, Carlyle, but for a fresh perfume, it does last well over on paper. I tested it, uh, it goes for the whole day on paper. On skin, I think it goes like, uh, at least, Bangladesh high humidity condition, it goes at least seven to eight hours so if you get that from a fresh perfume let's say even i live where i live it's in mostly cool weather outside is gonna last six to seven hours so for performance great so i think the fragrance is gonna be a uh, little bit unique it's not the most uh, easy to love fragrance many people find it like oh it's a bit challenging it's a bit off-putting as i was saying and i bought few days like this one i got same vibes with this like the white bottle Ferrari essence musk. This is also musky, but this has that watermelon. I love this. This one is very easy to love. Okay. Yeah, this one. It it's like much more sweeter, uh, safer, uh, kind of like a white florals also musky uh, watermelon kind of a fresh perfume. Uh, this one also lasts a long time on me. So I find some similarity with Galloway, but I would not say these are clone. This is not a clone of this one, but for budget. Ferrari gives you quality. So if you like Galloway, if you like Lalique, you can also find this one. You can wear it every day for summer and spring. Beautiful fragrance. So coming back to Galloway, I am actually loving this fragrance a lot. For my taste, it works. But I would suggest do not blind buy this. Sample it. You can get official samples of PDMs everywhere. Um, spend some money and invest and see if it works with you. If you kind of like, it's kind of like a, almost also salty in a certain way. When you smell it, it's peppery, salty, fresh, uh, not aquatic, but it definitely has like a summery vibe to it, okay? Very unique composition. So if you do like unique fragrances, you want to get like a fragrance that is different from your whole collection uh, for summer, something you're gonna wear, you're gonna pick up compliments, people will compliment you on this. It's not uh, gross, disgusting or anything like it. It's just, I would say sophisticated fragrance, okay? So it's kind of like underrated. Uh, Parfum de Marly. I would not say it's gonna beat uh, many other fragrances, but 
it definitely can be in someone's uh, top 10. All right. So Galloway, thank you, Obibai, for letting me have this. I would say this is a good fragrance. I would buy it personally. I would buy it. I would love to own it. But I would definitely say do not blind buy this. Try it. All right. So overall, this fragrance, I'm giving it a solid 8.5 out of 10 uh, because longevity is good. Bottle is beautiful. Smell is unique. And if I'm missing some notes, uh, perhaps there's a ginger or some spices in there. So uh, the pepper is just really standing out. So it's kind of like a masculine fragrance. It's not a unisex or feminine vibe to it. Okay, so I really like it. But try before you buy. 8.5 out of 10, my ultimate verdict. Thank you for watching. And I think I'll call it a night. And good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Take care. Bye-bye.